if I'm here and I want to shave my hair off, I want to wear manly clothes, let me do that. Like, noth- no one should be limited to what they're supposed to do because at it belongs to this gender, it belongs to this gender. <laughs> Hello, I'm Rafa Ngutusi, if you're new here, and welcome to yet another episode of Trendy on Topics, and today with me is Naisula. Hi. As we talk about feminism, getting to understand it all from your perspective. Mm-hmm. Cool? Yeah. So, like, to you, what is what is feminism all about? Um, feminism is basically about, um, it's not really about the female only, yeah. it's about gender equality. Uh-huh. You see how people try comparing what males can do and what females can do. We yeah. can all do it all. But feminism uh-huh. um, tries to give um, some sort of boost for the mm-hmm. females because most of the times we're put down. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, so what, what do you mainly... Is that you, Do you need to stand for anything? To be a feminist? Yeah. You don't really need to stand for anything to be a feminist. Uh-huh. But some people take it that you have to stand for something. Yeah. Like, but most of them, it's after something happens to them. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. find them now standing for something more. Like if someone gets body shamed. Yeah. Not that I'm saying body shaming is something nice. Yeah. But after someone gets body shamed, that, this is just one example. You find that they become more rooted to feminism after that. Like it yeah. didn't click before that they need to be more of the, to be more um, feminism, for yeah. more into feminism before yeah. that happened to them. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so for you personally, how did you get into it? I think I've just always been a feminist. Uh-huh. Like it didn't really have to come from something happening to me, but I just always liked when um, females, women are, are put forward when they do stuff, when they stand up for themselves, when they're leaders and all that. I've just always yeah. felt uh, that it's a really nice thing. Yeah. Yeah. The, is it? A, is there any any specific point when it like really hit you that now? Okay, like yes, you mm-hmm. admire the fact that there are women in leadership. Yeah. There should be all this equality matters and all. Mm-hmm. But now it's being like, okay, I think I am a feminist. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. Um, when it first hit me, kabisa, kabisa, I'm yeah. a feminist. Um, I think it's when I first started dating my girlfriend. Yeah. That is when I realized that I really am a feminist. Because, no offense, men are trash. <laughs> But, uh-huh. you know, we're not here to talk about men. That's a good thing. Uh-huh. But after that, I realized we take so much, as in we take in so much, and we don't, like, try and, and, and fight for ourselves and, you know, try and make our stand known. Yeah. From you guys, first of all. So, uh-huh. yeah, after that, I was just like, wow, you know, no. How, how, how do you not make your stand known to guys? It's not about actually, okay, some, you may make your stand known, but yeah. it will be disregarded. Mm-hmm. It will definitely be disregarded and you won't be taken seriously. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the point for feminism. No, that's just my point of view. There are yeah. so many different points of view for feminism. Feminism yeah. is, like I said before, it's about the equality yeah, of yeah. the genders. Yeah. Yeah, and noticing what the woman does because we've been put down for very long. Uh huh. That's why Valentine is coming. Where is our wife? You are sitting in a room. Lonely. Now let's talk about about your relationship. Yeah, if you don't mind. It's okay. So what if, what what if your significant other doesn't consider feminism or is not open to feminism? then we're going to have a problem but not really like uh-huh. a big problem yeah because it's something that you choose to uphold i can't impose something on you yeah like everyone has their own free will to think and to act if you don't regard feminism and i regard it it's, it's fine but just we don't nini cross the lines between uh, the whole thing because you don't go against my beliefs and i won't impose them on you Mm-hmm. 
do you still apply the whole equality even in your relationship yeah and the standards for feminism yes mm -hmm. yes yes they have to be applied because they can't be going against what i believe in yeah like but if if you're talking about someone who's not really um, a believer of feminism you have to like make some adjustments because you're trying to you're trying to create a balance between the two of you. You're not trying mm -hmm. to force feminism on this person. Yeah. And you're also not trying to lower your own standards. So mm -hmm. you have to create a balance. You have to find a balance between that. Yeah. Mm. Okay, now on on making people understand feminism, mm -hmm. what, are, what are your thoughts on, or have you come across any girls who are now not really open to feminism? I don't think I've come across any female who is not open to feminism. Yeah. Because we are really, we are the minority. Okay, I don't know if we are the minority, really. Are we the minority? Minority how? In, in, as in in numbers, literally in no. numbers. It's you guys or more. Yeah, no, it's you guys it's or, us more. or more. Yeah, Okay, by if, far. I, if we are the majority, then that also makes it better for us. Because the more we believe in something as one, the more we are unified. The more we can be strong together and uplift each other. But also, females to some extent. You see how some females can, females... I'm sorry to say, are the people who put down each other the mm -hmm. worst? Mm -hmm. The whole body shaming thing, the whole yeah. you know going yeah. against, like just spite. The females are really spiteful sometimes mm -hmm. towards each other, and it's really not right. So those ones are the ones who I can say are not really feminist at heart. Yeah, because you should not go against your your own gender, honestly. Yeah. 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 So what about girls who are? who are against what feminism stands for? Um, what about them as in? Like, basically just your thoughts. About them? Yeah. I think they're wasting their time on this earth because how, how can uh -huh. you do that to your own gender? It's betrayal, like, but you know, uh, then again, it's everyone with their own beliefs mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you can't really force anyone to think something. Yeah. If that's how they, they're willing to think, then it's fine. Yeah. They, yeah. However, life treats them, it's okay, but hey, you should not find them coming to ask their fellow. But it's not like yeah, we wouldn't like try and help out if they ever need something, you know, yeah. because it's different when it's someone who's not believing in feminism coming and asking for help in regards to something um, that involves them and asking for help from someone like me, a feminist. I, I can't say no. Mm -hmm. because that will be now going against what I stand for. Yeah. But for them, it will be a chance to open their minds up into what yeah. this is really all about. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you, do you, is, okay, is feminism self-proclaimed or how does feminism come about? It, um, when you say self-proclaimed, it's like something I just decided, oh, I wake up, now I'm a feminist, but mm -hmm. it's something that is inside you, like, even maybe some people don't know they're feminists, but they yeah. are. Because it's something that you feel and how you act, how you behave also shows that you are. Like okay. religion. Uh, Can religion you make is, it? Is, yeah. is a tricky issue. Uh -huh. uh, but religion doesn't really go anywhere with feminism. Like yeah. as the pattern. Yeah. No, like when you, uh, when you get into, like getting into a new religion mm -hmm. is like, that's that's oh, that's what I'm no, asking. No. Um, it's not like getting into a new religion. It's really not. It's like adapting to something that is there already. Mm -hmm. It's not like, you know, when you're talking about getting into a new religion, when you're because you're believing in something. Yeah, 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 believing in something and all that. Okay, maybe um, I can put it as you were not a Christian or anything. You didn't believe in anything yeah. at all. And then now you start believing. Yeah. You either become a Christian or become Muslim or yeah. become Buddhist or something like that. But it's not like you are a Christian and now you want to become Muslim. That's another thing. Yeah. Yeah. So after realizing that you're now really into feminism has that helped how has that helped um let's say even on this whole addressing some issues when uh, it comes to gays uh -huh. how how has feminism helped? yeah like you see when you're a feminist you don't really i was about to cast you don't uh -huh. you don't really care um 
what people have to say about yeah. you. And feminism can be showcased in very many ways. Some people um, showcase it through nudity. Like it's your body and if you want to show it, you can show it. Mm-hmm. That is also how some people do that. Some people will, um, um, what is it called? Will make campaigns. Mm-hmm. They will go out there, they will talk about how women need to be empowered. Yeah. And once you get that, it also boosts your confidence as a woman. Yeah. Yeah, you become better than how you were before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What, what are your thoughts on the whole expressing yourself through nudity? Like oh, people, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Personally, you, uh-huh. <laughs> I would never, uh-huh. I would never um, do that yeah. because I feel like it's also like very showy. Mm-hmm. It's it's not a bad thing. If you yeah. want to show your body, you can show your body. None is preventing you from going yeah. outside showing your body. But personally, I just feel like it's too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's too much. Like you just walk in the street, someone there has already seen your body. Like there's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's nothing <laughs> private anymore. Okay, so does is it is it more of okay? There are some people who express themselves through nudity for body positivity. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Does that still apply for feminism? It can still apply for feminism because yeah, it it all depends on what you're doing it for. It can be for feminism. It can be for body positivity. It can be for any. It can be for money. Yeah, it can be for yeah. anything. But it can also apply to feminism. Interesting. So, okay. Um, are you apart from let's say issues related to guys mm-hmm. when it comes to all these topics on let's say abortion, uh, abortion in what usually I think it's abortion and contraceptives, yes, abortion and yeah. contraceptives. Mm. What are your thoughts on that one? Because <laughs> the, the number of feminists yeah. who are, yeah, it's it's a it's a big topic, yeah, the, okay. About abortion, no, abortion is a very touchy topic, mm-hmm. but. I'm just going to speak on my own um, perspective. Yeah. If you go out there and then you get knocked up, it is not your time to get knocked up. You're either too young or you're still in school or your parents won't take it. Uh-huh. And there's literally when you look at your life, if you get, if you keep that child, mm-hmm. your life will go, will just go haywire. Yeah. Nothing positive will come. Okay, I'm not saying nothing positive. Maybe that child may become the president someday, but. <laughs> You know, the, yeah. the child will make such a huge change to yeah, your life. Yeah. And it's better if you get a child when you're ready for the child than when you get it um, all of a sudden. And if it is, um, you get a child due to rape, honestly, I do not see any other option apart from ad- uh, abortion. Yeah. 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 So you're pro-abortion. Are you pro-abortion fully or you're pro-abortion um, according to circumstances? According to circumstances. Uh-huh. Yeah. And contraceptives? Contraceptives. You see, <laughs> if I talk about contraceptives, yeah. maybe I talk about people who are in heterosexual relationships. Yeah. For them, yeah, you should... Act- okay, but contraceptives really affect um, women. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they yeah, change they your hormones. They they change your how you feel, your body, and yeah. all that. They really affect you. And if someone goes ahead to take contraceptives because they love you, and then you break. Okay, you know I'm going I'm going off topic. I was about to say then you break their hearts and all that. But anyway, uh-huh. contraceptives should be taken once both of you have talked about it. You've agreed that this is what we want to do. We don't want to get a child right now. And if you guys have decided both of you. Then yeah, it's it's okay. Isn't still, isn't that still putting power to kind to the guy in a way? Not really. If if the guy came and talked to you about it, yeah. and you didn't want to, you you have the right to say no. I don't want. Why don't you also put on a co a condom? Yeah. So yeah, it's not really putting giving the guy power if both of you are in agreement. If yeah. the guy is the one who's forcing issues on you, then that's another story forcing issues on using or yes on yeah. using contraceptives if the guy is telling you no, no you have to take the pill you have to take G, the injection you have to do this when you want a child only that is him trying to impose on your body and it is not his so isn't should... it for the safety of no the girl? no if the girl does not want to take contraceptives and the guy also has an uh, nini, an option to put on the condom or to pull out you see and mm-hmm. if he, he thinks he can't do that and it's up to you to win the contraceptive, what, what's that? What's that? No, <laughs> what's that? I. Yeah, see, as in, 
Come no, on. No, 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 no. If if you avoid all the options. Yeah. And at at you you can't wear the condom, you can't pull out. It is just me who can take the, the even me I can't take what if I am allergic. You see? Mm-hmm. All of us have our own issues in this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Not just one person gets to bear the brunt of it all. Yeah. But if you guys have sat down and talked and agreed, then then I don't see a problem. It's mm. not him imposing. Yeah. So as long as it's coming from you, that's easy. Yeah, yeah, if it's coming from me, it's okay. But generally, you're pro it. Contraceptives. Not really, because as I've said, it affects your hormones, your yeah. body, and all that. I, I personally would not mm-hmm. take that. And in the future, if you want a child, it may mess that up. Yeah. Regardless of the fact that it might also have positive effects, keeping you okay. from... Yeah, that's the only positive effect, keeping you from getting pregnant. While yeah. you could also do this, you could abstain and wait for marriage. At such a time, is that even possible? Imagine some people can... Um, okay. I, you know you need to believe what you're saying yeah 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 i know but i'm 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 sure there's some people there's someone somewhere out there yeah there are people who, yeah there are people who are obtaining nairobi nairobi to that's the nairobi. thing because <laughs> here yeah. this is it's hitting close to home because this is where it is mm-hmm. yeah ah uh, contraceptives you just take them you <laughs> let them what you want Okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much can you trust the one you're dating? 8. 8. 1. Why 1? Because you can't trust 8 people. You have to trust one person. Wow, wow. What are your thoughts on gender roles in relationships? Gender roles, like... Do you believe they should exist? Like, okay, uh-huh. this all goes back to toxic masculinity. Mm-hmm. The fact that women belong in the kitchen, uh, the minute when, whether you're in a, if you're in a serious relationship, then the girl can help by, she's the one who's going out. Yeah, that type of stuff. Funny, we, bo- we don't have hands. No, like, Both they say have... gender roles. Hey. I'll do my, the guy yeah. will do his thing, the girl does his no, thing. No, no, Hard no, thing. feminism scratches that thing out, Kabisa, uh-huh. because... We both, we are both the same. Like I have hands, you have hands. You wear your own clothes, I wear mine. If I decide to help you out by washing your clothes, it's fine. Otherwise, you can wash your own damn clothes. Uh-huh. Yeah, and you can also cook if you get hungry. You can, you get a child. You can carry the child you, because mm-hmm. I carry the child for nine months. You get, mm-hmm. and then my there, and it's apparently my work to keep waking up at three a.m to keep carrying the child everywhere and the child is crying i breastfeed the child i yeah. cook for the child i cook for you wow no you guys have come you guys uh-huh. uh, but see oh. if you actually think about it this yeah. thing applies from both sides because girls will be like this is your work as a guy you need to do such and such things okay tell me an example of that like okay to say me balbi mechomeka like something like that no 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 let's eh. make it bigger let's talk about whole family responsibility or yeah okay we are we are young like a whole relationship because and... uh. that's at another another level uh-huh. like we are dating so everything everything relies on the guy you see the main let, let's not talk about the main decisions but like some some things some of the responsibilities just strictly for, for the, the guy. guy like ever give me an example because because these two are dating the guy is the one who's always who always needs to pay mm-hmm. the guy is the one who needs to have plans are on you, what is going out of experience no tri- let me tell you that uh-huh. is not what is happening right now isn't it happening out here mm, not really uh-huh. not really because as in it's the times have changed basically uh-huh. you don't get, actually that offends some women if the mm-hmm. guy is at and kulipa everything all the time that can be offensive to someone. How can that be? Offensive? Because we both eaten. Okay, let me tell you this. If um the guy calls me and is like, let me take you out and it's on me, that is okay. He yeah, can pay. Yeah, he has yeah. said it's on him. But if he says, let's go out for lunch. See, I'm an eater. He's just called me. I mm-hmm. eat my food. He eats his and then we split. Mm-hmm. That is what I understand from that dating thing. Yeah. If the guy is the one who's owning up to taking you out, then he's supposed to pay if he said, let's take you out, it's on me. Yeah. But if he's just calling you out for the date, then personally, I would 
love to split the bill. Yeah. Mm. So what are your general thoughts on on like gender roles? Gender roles. Gender roles. Um, I don't really accept gender roles because uh-huh. everyone has been equipped with the ability to do stuff and yeah. to do like there's nothing you can't do uh-huh. right now. Yeah. So this whole gender role thing is just bullshit. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh on uh, dominance and submission. Mm-hmm. What do you think about that? Uh, in relationships. Let's say yeah, yeah, in relationships. Like I know what you're coming. I know what you're trying to say <laughs> that I know. But uh-huh. I think it just depends on how you are as a person. Yeah. If you want to be submissive to the person you're dating, please feel free to be submissive and yeah. but the whole dominant thing, you know some people are dominant by nature also. Yeah. And then they find another dominant person and they find it hard to correlate. Yeah, yeah. So there I think they just have to find the balance between them and work around it. Mm-hmm. But this whole thing is just controversial because people others are submissive, others are doms. So yeah. it's really hard to find the mean. But is there is there relevance for it? Doesn't it beat the whole equality in a relationship? Now in gets you know to in this. some re- relationships, yeah, it, the woman is dominant. Yeah, there are. Yeah. Yeah, and if the man is allowing it and he likes it, there is also no problem. Mm. Yeah, there is no problem. But if he's feeling put down and all that, he needs to talk to her and tell her that she needs to, you know, calm down a bit and. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they can work things out. And on the subject of feminism, feminism. still, mm-hmm. yeah, if now the guy, the guy requires for the girl to be a submissive, uh-huh. regardless of maybe her personality is to dominate. Then that girl is wasting her time in that relationship, uh-huh. and she should just pack her bag. Uh-huh. If the guy is requiring her to be submissive, that yeah. is not uh, not acceptable because. He's changing her, like he's changing her nature. Yes, she can calm down and not be as dominating as she would be mm-hmm. to try and, you know, if you love someone, you, you try as much as possible to make them feel, you know, good at least. Yeah. But to the fact where she's losing her own um, personality, it's not right. If the girl was doing that to the guy? Yes. Oh, it's also not right. It's uh-huh, not right uh-huh, because uh-huh. he's also a person. You yeah. Know, and it yeah it must be right to do that to him but you see men have been doing this for so many years it's only right if you get back a bit hello is that kasioki yes kasioki speaking oh ne mimi mpenzi wako tina jana uliniimbia kawimbo katamu sana kama penzi tafadhali niimbie tena sweetie haya aha yeah so it's a matter of getting back now not really, but you see, <laughs> uh, to some extent, to some yeah. extent, it is. Okay, so on that is, is it more of making a point? Um, Did it come up? Mm. Like when you look at it, do you think maybe it came up as a way to try make a point? To some extent, I can say yes, because mm-hmm. you see, once you get take a situation where you're being, you're being put down, kabisa, you're being yeah. pushed, you're being in it. when you when it finally all comes out. You're, 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 nin, you're angry and you really wish to make a point on what you're feeling at that particular moment. Great thing that you said there. Yeah. So is it, is it, okay, the way that feminism has been portrayed outside, like yeah. on social media especially, mm-hmm. is, it, is, it really, is it really okay how it's out? Because sometimes it comes, out, it comes off as if it's just hate. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get that. Yeah. And actually, it's not right how it's been put out there. Yeah. Like you see, most of the times, when it's a woman talking about being abused, being raped, it is a huge deal, a very huge deal. And then mm-hmm, when it's a mm-hmm. man talking about the same thing, first of all, he even can't talk about it as much because yeah. he's feeling like it's going to lower him as a person. Yeah. And it's also not regarded. Like people brush it aside. And it's not a right thing how it's being done because. Yeah. As I said before, feminism is really about gender equality. Like yeah. no one is supposed to be greater than any other. It's about acquiring some sort of equilibrium among the genders. And when yeah. it's put out like that, then it actually lowers the male gender, which is not right. I do not agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Nice. There's also something that you mentioned earlier on it's like trying to change someone. Mm-hmm. What what are your thoughts on cha- do you think do you think feminism no, do you believe in changing people? Um, you know that uh, very many aspects of changing people. Like mm-hmm. you could change someone for the better. Mm-hmm. Like that, but that is not in regards to. Fe- Let me look at it in regards to feminism. It's not really about yeah. changing people. It's about making a realization mm-hmm. that you have been put down for too long. You've been quiet for too long. You have been. You know, you have been ignored for too long yeah. as a gender. So it's about. It's not really about changing people. It's about realizing and discovering and now coming out. Yeah. Like, do you believe people can change? In what perspective? In like, uh, okay, the things that let's say feminism does stand for. Mm-hmm. There's been a lot of issues for like a really long time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So do you believe people can change because of the fact that yeah, feminism is now happening. Yeah. There are a lot of women who are coming out about it. And yeah, they're trying to make a point about it. Yeah, I, I believe people can change mm-hmm. from all the noise that is being made in, in regards to feminism. Yeah. People will listen and people will change eventually. Eventually. eventually not right now. Hey, right now, we are full of toxic masculinity. We are full of, we're just full of these negative things. Yeah, but mm-hmm. eventually people will change. Yeah. Yeah. Is, okay, there's, at some point you mentioned, when I, there's a question I asked and mm-hmm. then you also agreed that maybe it's not being, feminism is not really being put out properly. Right yeah. How, what can change? What can change is... What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's start with that. Okay. You see, when we are trying to talk about it, we should not ma- focus on one gender. When we're trying to talk about these sensitive matters, like on social media, as I said, as the example I used before about maybe abuse or rape, yeah, yeah. we shouldn't really focus on the one gender that is talking about it. We should look at everyone that is being affected yeah. by it. There's a whole spectrum of genders. There's a whole mm-hmm. spectrum of genders. And if we just look at the two that we know, male and female, yeah. others are being put uh, are being put down also. Yeah. There's the transsexuals, there's the transgenders. You see, there's a lot of genders in yeah. the spectrum. Hmm. Interesting. In Okay, most people would think or would assume that feminism is just centered on females. Mm-hmm. Is it is it really gender based? It's not really gender based. It is for the women. It is it was put forward for women, but we don't really ignore the other genders. Mm-hmm. Like we don't we are not here to at uh, put down anyone. Like we're not trying to I don't know which words to use, but it is not really for women to put down other genders or anything. It is about equality. It's about don't do this to me and I won't do it to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So because it's it's basically for everyone. Mm-hmm. What about is is there male feminism? You <laughs> Maybe we say chauvinism because Sh- you guys uh-huh. you guys and yours is just toxic. It is just let us agree it is uh-huh. toxic and it is not. Maybe if you change it cuz let me tell you let me tell you a story that yeah. happened uh-huh. with some friend of mine. He got uh-huh. drunk and then he started talking. He was just blabbing everything. Then he was mm-hmm. saying how he got He's mad at some other um, shori over mm-hmm. there. When you ask him why, he says, because the shori refused to suck his dick. Uh-huh. Yeah, that was very shocking because I was like, Sasa, what do you mean she refused? He was like, ati, ati, it is only protocol. Ati, it is supposed to happen that after you finish finessing, the next step is, you know, you sucking my dick. And he was very serious about that. Yeah. And he was not like taking any other opinions. And mm-hmm. you see how toxic that is. Like he believes that is what he believes that yeah. that is the gospel according to <laughs> uh-huh. his Bible or something and and most of you guys out here mm-hmm. you you're like that like you believe I don't know what you believe by the way entitlement and, yeah entitlement and all that it yeah is, yeah so for you guys I think you just have to to go back to your books and check and then uh-huh. you can come up with your own you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what do you think contributed to that? What do you think to, con- to this whole toxicity? Um, I think it it goes way back. It goes mm-hmm. way back to when women were disregarded 
ile serious like you could not go to school your yeah. work was literally to be in the kitchen like men would not set foot in the kitchen yeah those kitambo ages i think that's when this whole thing started coming up and then after it has happened after mm-hmm. times have mm-hmm. changed civilization and all these yeah. powerful women have come up we've realized that is not our place then people have to listen to us now yeah, yeah. do you think that with the rise of feminism maybe now the let's say yeah boy child mm. they're being less regarded that thing about boy child boy child have been getting uh, recognized and regarded for all of eternity all of since uh-huh. time immemorial uh-huh. it has been boy child boy child boy child and then when we are just starting and on uplifting the girl child it is yeah. now an issue at boy child they are being forgotten at you cg boy child yeah. boy child as in you guys have been there since as in everything has been revolving uh-huh. around you since kitambo so i don't understand the whole thing you don't see as if there's been a change let's let's look at right now yeah look at how things are right now mm. look at how look at it look at social media look at no let me tell you something kitambo if a girl was raped it was not the boy's fault it was the girl's fault for something that she apparently for wearing the clothes that she did yeah. for having the body that she has for at walking how she walked that was why she got raped for walking at that time that she was walk it was her fault all her fault yeah that was those times kitambo and now right now we are getting to see that it it's not her fault yeah. she had no fault in it at all yeah. it is a guy's fault for doing what he did yeah yeah and you see that is just it things have T- changed the tables have turned like the boy child what he the entitlement he had kitambo and all that it's not the same anymore because it's it, it's not right for him to be feeling like that and for him to be acting like that and mm-hmm. it's not that he's being regarded right now it's that he's being he's being uh, neutralized yeah yeah he's being neutralized and then he's giving way mm-hmm. to now other people mm-hmm. yeah you don't okay let's 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 put aside vices mm-hmm. like let's let's look at the normal things like how you mentioned here yeah, like back back in the day maybe girls weren't supposed to go to school they're supposed to just stay at home and wash but now because girls are being uplifted more there's been a bit of a decline when it comes to the attention given to guys like feminism is about equality like you've said mm-hmm. but it's going completely against it against you guys against mm. that whole thing of it being neutral and equality, equality. it's not really you going against it. i'm not saying it's going against yeah. anything as we, feminism is not about we're not trying to put down anyone yeah. and if you're feeling like you're being put down it is because of something that you may have done or are doing yeah Uh, this thing about toxic masculinity it's still happening there's no way you can regard someone mm-hmm. who is being toxic like who is putting out this um behaviorism and vices and all it's really hard to like give them a platform like yeah. it's very hard it's not about giving mm. them a platform let's look at the good guys out here mm. let's look at people who are doing everything right here okay not not no one who's toxic but mm. people who are just just normal guys yes they 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 do all the right things but when it comes to how how things are working out in society now it's that regardless of the fact that you are doing good you're doing good or you're doing bad there's an image that's already out there about guys now about that image that that's out there eh uh, i think it's up to you guys to try and fix that image because mm-hmm. it is guys like you also Yeah. Not that not guys like you as in like good guys like you know the good guys that we have it is mm-hmm. the bad guys out there that made that image for you people so you need to clear that image out and make another one for yourself. How can we do that? How can we do that? Yeah. Hey, hey. Any suggestions? And, <laughs> on how you can make a better image for yourself. Yeah. I really I really don't know because it is actually in the minds of people like it is inscribed right now it is a serious mentality that yeah. all guys regardless of anything they're not nice so i don't know you need to i don't know how that will happen yeah i don't know other yeah. than other than let's say toxic masculinity is there any any other things that maybe or where guys are going wrong 
other than abuse other than what mm. we see out here other than what has been talked about enough mm-hmm. yeah well okay we've seen toxic masculinity the vices and all that the sense of entitlement mm-hmm. <laughs> you guys have uh-huh. you do you know how how scary it is to walk past a group of men not that they'll, they'll do anything to yeah. you how they will cut call you how they will you know you just feel even if they won't do anything like that moment you're walking past them you're you're holding your heart like oh god let me just pass pass through this man i don't know i don't know you men are just scary to some extent as long mm-hmm. as the person is a man already there's an aspect of them being scary because of what they can do to you or even what they i don't know like me, i don't know it's just this thing yeah. the, the vibe that you give out sometimes but not all men not all men some men yeah yeah i think men are just scary to some extent yeah yeah initially you meant you brought up the whole men are trash thing so does this still go back to that the whole men are trash thing no? yeah okay where does men are trash men come are trash. from then hey men are trash they're just you know how something can just be Like everything you've been doing has now summed up and we have decided that men are trash. Mhm. Simple. Is men are trash a movement like me too like no feminism? It's not really a movement. <laughs> it's just something that you feel with a deep regard. Yeah. It's something you feel with a deep regard. Feel, yeah. Okay, now for you personally, mm. what what do you aim with it with feminism? With feminism. Yeah. For the world to just be one big equal place where no one has to be put down for anything yeah if a man is out there and he wants to wear earrings and he wants to put makeup mm-hmm. let him do that that's him that is as in no one should put him down for what he wants yeah if i'm here and i want to shave my hair off i want to wear manly clothes let me do that like no no one should be limited to what they are supposed to do because at it belongs to this gender it belongs to this gender and yeah. even in the job sector people should not okay but yeah it's a, that depends mm-hmm. on the job description but jobs really shouldn't be limited to gender yeah i'd like to work in an office and find a male secretary for once i you think know. yeah uh huh uh-huh. cuz have you ever seen a male secretary Not really but yeah. I think I've watched <laughs> I've watched something <laughs> oh, that had a male secretary oh. or something. Oh, then those guys are feminists inside that movie. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, basically <laughs> that's it. As in feminism should change the world for the better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now with you personally achieving any anything that you'd like to achieve with feminism with you being a feminist. Mm-hmm something that i really wanted to do for a long time is yeah. to create this um organization yeah, yeah organization is the word i wanted where you could have girls come in not just girls even boys mm-hmm. they want but the main thing is that they will be meeting powerful women in that whole organization and you see their role models and all that mm-hmm. and they get mentored and talked to and yeah something changes in them from the whole thing that is what i want because yeah. i feel like many of these children out here right now especially in this generation they don't mm-hmm. really know what they want they don't yeah. know what to do with their lives and i really like to give them a chance to explore that yeah, yeah. and what are you doing about it right now about now? it right yeah. now not really much because i'm still in school and i'm focusing on you know yeah. school trying to make money at the same time for yeah. this whole thing It's basically something I have in store for the future. Yeah. Yeah, or how you are how you're exercising your feminism right now. My feminism right now. Um I think it's just in basically what I do, everything I, like I would you'd never find me putting down someone else for anything. Yeah. Like my especially my fellow females, there's no way I'd put down um someone for anything even if the makeup is bad even if what is bad you just 
find them, talk to them nicely, tell them, Unajua, apa, 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 you've done this. Mm-hmm. But to outrightly bash them in public, now that is something I can't do. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, lastly, lastly I'd like to ask about now feminism and sexuality. What are your thoughts on both correlating? Most people think that femini- to be a feminist, you have to be gay or something. Or it doesn't really have to be like that. Mm-hmm. You just have to have your standards. And if they correlate with what feminism is about, yeah. you are a feminist. Yeah. Yeah. So thoughts on sexuality on its own? Sexuality is just something so wide and so controversial. Someone may yeah. just pick something I say from here and haunt <laughs> me forever. But sexuality is just something that people need to decide on their own. Yeah. But right now it's 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 a bit sketchy because we are finding so many people coming out right now yeah. and you usually you would think is it really real is it that's the thing mm, but you can't tell yeah. you can't tell because it's that person who knows what they're doing and why yeah. they're doing it yeah so i think people just need to first of all leave people alone you know uh-huh. if someone decides they want to change their sexuality their gender their anything you yeah. just even if you want to find out why you ask them in a subtle way pole pole too, and yeah. if they want to tell you the truth they will yeah but sexuality should be left to the person. No one should try impose anything on someone. Yeah. Mm. And what do you think? Why do you think more people are open to les like lesbianism than gays who are gay? Yeah, I, I even may know some people who can't stand gays, but when yeah. it's about lesbians, it's something different. I think it's because you know we all have um, like when you look at guys who mm-hmm. are straight and then lesbians. You see, we are, we are more, and then we all have one common interest, that is women, mm-hmm. the guys and us now, the oh, lesbians. Yeah, 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 and yeah. then now those guys, the gay guys, they are alone. They are yeah, the ones who yeah. like men by themselves. Uh-huh. So like no one relates with them. That yeah. is what I think. Like yeah. they're just... Because girls are also open to that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But... Uh, so... To open, to, the, open to... Open to the whole, like, open to girls more than open to guys. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, okay. You're talking about if someone wasn't even lesbian or something, and then they find mm-hmm. an opportunity, they they'd be the girl. Um, in that scenario, not, uh-huh. I think that's what you've said. Not really. Yeah, like uh-huh. how girls are also open to like if if a girl likes a girl, that's okay. But a guy can't like a guy. Oh. Yeah. Like you'd find, like if, even if you look at it on social media, that's how it's looking. So you're like, mm. huh? What's the issue here? Yeah. I don't know. Because that would counter what you said. Eh. Like, because us guys, us guys and girls are still interested in girls. But now there are guys who are complete, who are just, for guys who are interested in guys, mm. they are alone. They're but alone. girls are also interested in, in girls. Guys. In guys. In guys. Yeah. See, girls are interested in guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the straight so why guys. Yeah, so why don't they also... Like uh, gay guys. Yeah. Girls actually like gay guys, let me tell you something, because that is one of the most free and honest people you will ever find. A gay mm-hmm. person will tell you the truth. They will help you fashion wise. They're very stylish, most mm-hmm. of them, many of them. So girls really don't have... Mo- many girls don't have a problem with gay guys. That yeah. is just some perspective that is put out there which is not really true mm-hmm. but for the ones that do uh i think they have their own sort of you know the ones maybe not the ones who really don't uh-huh. just don't like men yeah yeah, yeah. interesting mm. interesting i think i think i think we've, we've talked about almost everything. everything yeah is there anything you'd like to add Amma, that's that's okay oh, no, it's okay it's okay yeah all right so thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. Be sure to check out some of my other videos with some of my other guests. But that has been it for today. I will see you next time. Peace.